Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be looking at how to remove the first line or however many number of lines we want from a text file. Now clearly this could be done with awk or said, but we're going to do something simpler. We're going to use tail. So going right here, you can see if I list out the files, I've got a text file called names.txt. If I cat out the file, it's a list of names. We can see how many names are in there with uh, piping that into wc-l and that will count the lines for us. There are 10 names in there. Let's say we want to remove that first line. Well, if we use the tail command and give it the file name, it's going to print out the last by default 10 lines, which there are only 10 lines in this file. We could also say dash n and say two and we'll print out, oh, got to put a space between that and the name. And it will print out just the last two lines. If we want to print out the last five lines, we can say five, but we could do something like plus two. And this is saying start on the second line and print everything else after that. So you can see the first line uh, is the name Kitty Miles. If we run this, you can see that it starts on the second line. Let's go ahead and try three. And now it's printing from the third line on down. And if we say five, it will print the last five names. So that's how you can remove the beginning lines of a file using tail. Now, of course, that's not modifying the file. If we were to cut out the file, it's still going to be all 10 names. If we wanted to update that file, well, if we try to redirect into names.txt, what's going to happen? Well, if we cut out names.txt, it's empty. It actually just deleted it. Lots of times you can't write to a file you're reading from. So real quick, let me go ahead and create a new uh, list of names here. Now I can cut out names and I have a new fresh list of names. Random names is a program I have that generates a list of random names. Now, if we want to, there's two options here. We could say, start on the second line. And if we try to pipe into this file, we'll say temp instead of text. So now I do that, I can list out, you can see I have two files and then I can move names.temp to names txt and now if I cut out names.txt you'll see there are nine names where you move that first name but that's running uh, that, that's kind of sloppy in my opinion it works though you could do that but there's actually a command designed to to allow you to write to a file you're reading from and it's the sponge command so if we were to run this command again so now we have our new uh, file which only has nine names but we're gonna start on the second line we're gonna remove uh, that's that first line and print everything from the second line down. We're going to run that into the sponge command. What the sponge command does is it allows you, as I said, to write to a file you're reading from. So here I'm saying, okay, start on the second line, print everything at, from there to the end of the file from the names.txt, and then pipe that instead of redirecting it into sponge and sponge will write it back to that original file. Now I can cut out names.txt and if we were to count that you can see there's eight names because we've done it twice so we removed one line then we ran it again and ran the second and removed the second line. And of course we can run that again and if I was to say five we do that now we can cut out names.txt and you see there's only four names left because we started on the fifth line there. Thank you for watching. Films by Chris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. I hope that you found this useful. And again, this is just one of many ways to do this, but it's a very simple one to remember rather than trying to remember a longer said or awk command, which may be simple for you, but not for everybody. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.